Okay, so this is the code. We're going to need to install Fast LED Library if you haven't already done that. I know we did that last year. I'm not sure if you still have it done, but I'll try to walk over that in a second. Um, that just says we're using that library. Then uh, we got to define uh, three things. Um, one is how many LEDs. So we're just going to write this code here. And you can copy and paste all this. I'll email this separate. And then uh, data pin is six. That's the, uh, the pin we're going to use for the LED strip. And uh, two is going to be for the button, OK? Um, and we don't even need a resistor for the button because we're going to use an internal pull-up. You can see that in a minute. I'll show you in a second. Uh, initializes array to store LED colors. So uh, this right here just stores uh, colors. It's just one of the codes that uh, Fast LED uses. We might get away with not even doing that, but we'll just leave that code in there. Uh, this right here is super important. We do need to tell the strip what information, like what type of uh, LED strip we're using. You told me you're using a WS2811, or sorry, 12. And then uh, data pin right here, we have to tell it what pin we're using. So you could literally just write six here, but we'll just put data pin since that is six. And um, and then right here, uh, we have to put what kind of color it uses. If your color is coming out wrong, I think we're, we're doing it green. Uh, but if it comes out wrong right here, you need to put RGB or something like that. So it changes to RGB, but it's no big deal right now. We're just trying to get it to work. So don't worry if the color is off. Um, this is the wiring inside the uh, circuitry. And uh, LEDs is, uh, and then it says number, it says, so number of LEDs is how many we have. And then LEDs, I think uh, that has to do with, actually, I don't remember what that's supposed to be, but just leave that there. And then pin mode, uh, this is for the button. So we're going to call it button pin because that means two. So you could just put a two here, but we'll put button pin since we already defined it. And it's an input, but an input pull up. So that means not only is it going to be an input for our button, but it's pulled up to a high all the time when we're not touching it. So we're, in other words, to tell it that it's on, we're going to push a ground. Uh, we're going to do that instead of um, doing the whole LDR with a little a light sensor, because then you have to get a laser and you have to shine light and you have to get those numbers right. We just want to see if we can get the LED strips working. So we're going to push the button and that button when it's pushed is going to simulate like the light being shoved into the sensor which we can get later that's no big deal so this this is just a test if we push the button the light should start lighting up one at a time and then in the loop right here we have this this is uh i guess this is supposed to be better than using int so we're just creating a variable and it's just a little bit more efficient using this but you could actually technically use int but we'll just use this and we're going to call it lit LEDs. This is storing how many LEDs are turned on. Because when you let go, we need to store how many was there already lit up already, you know? And then if the person's pushing the button, see if it goes low, that means you're sending a ground. So you're sending a ground to pin two. You literally don't even need a button. You can just run a wire from the ground to pin two and just shove the, the wire from ground to pin two. And that'll like turn it on if you want to do that. So if somebody's pushed the button, and if the LEDs is still less than the total number of LEDs, so here's the total number of LEDs. If you have 10, put 10. If you have 12, you have 12. Put how many LEDs you have here. And then you don't have to change anything else. So if the number of lit LEDs is less than the total number of LEDs, so there's still some more to be lit up, right? See, we haven't lit up all the LEDs. Then uh, LEDs, the number of lit ones, is equal to, and then set them to green, show that then add one to the number of lit LEDs, wait 100 milliseconds and do this again. So every 100 milliseconds, a new light should turn on. That's 10 lights in one second. So if that's a little too fast, you can change this to 200 or whatever you want to do. So hopefully that helps. Uh, wiring wise, uh, wiring wise, we have Tinkercad. I have it here somewhere. Do I have it over here? Oh, it's... Uh, oh, here it is. So wiring wise, it would look something like this. We're going to take the power supply and we're going to set it to five volts. We'll just put the positive here and the negative here. And then I run the, 
the negative to the negative of the strip, the positive to the positive of the strip. And I'm not done here. There's more, more to be done. Uh, I'll show you in a second here. Ground is going to go here to the button. And when I push the button, this ground will go to pin two. When you don't push it, remember this is pulled high. So only when you push this button will the ground come. But you could literally just run a wire from the ground yourself and just shove it into pin two to see if it works. You know what I mean? That's going to do the same thing. Um, this data pin, if you remember, goes to pin six. There we go. And lastly, there's one important thing we need to do. Uh, the ground on here, you can do it from here or here. It doesn't matter. We should definitely share the ground from here. So the ground here, because remember, this ground is coming from your computer. This ground's coming from the plug socket, uh, you know, from this power supply, and they need to be in sync. So we take this ground and we take this ground and make sure they're connected. And I just did that. I put ground here to this ground right here. And it can be done anywhere you want, as long as this ground is touching this ground. All right. And that should be it. Uh, that should give you all the wiring you need. And uh, hopefully it works. Okay. And if it still doesn't work, we'll try. I'll, I'll be there next time and I can help you out.